I guess that's none of my business. Uh, you got done what you needed to get done, and that's all that really counts, right? Man, if only the boys back at Gamora could see me now. Getting ready to assist some ghouls into space? How, how is this even possible? Is this really happening? Is this real life? I guess it is. I guess it is. And I love it. It's wonderful. I guess this is the way back up, right? Hello, hello! Yeah, piece of cake. Spent more time trying to find it than I did fucking walking through it. I suppose that speaks more towards, uh... Towards my low intelligence slash high determination. But, in order to know that you have low intelligence, your intelligence can't be that low. You know what I mean? A little bit of self-awareness never hurt anybody. Alright, where's this glowing fuck? Yes. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Go bother Jason, smooth skin. I don't like having you around. All right, then go fuck yourself. Good riddance. Shit, this fucking guy. Let me tell you. Hey, Jason. Where's your bright glowing ass? Huh? You're around here somewhere. I can smell you. Oh, maybe it's that guy. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. You can't come through here. Hey. Restricted area. Fuck off. <laughs> Hey, Jason! Hmm. He's gotta be lurking around somewhere. What is this place? Somebody's bed. Is this your, your place? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just looking for Jason. Oh, Radix and Radaway. I need some of that. Let's make a mental note of this room. <clears throat> Good God. All the hallways look the same. Hey, there you are. The demons are gone. First, I want you to tell me what's in the in the far beyond. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It oh, is a place yeah. of light and healing. And I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. And uh, can you tell me what the deal is with that Chris guy? You know, he's kind of a dick. To me, it calls me smooth skin, but, you know, his skin's actually a bit smoother. You know, he hasn't drunk any alcohol or done any drugs. Looks like he's led a pretty carefree lifestyle. Is he Is he really one of you guys? Is he like a ghoul on the inside and a human on the outside? Or, or does that happen? I, I don't even know. You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared. And the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realize that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Well enough. I guess I was integral to the success as well. Because, Mr. Jason Bright, the demons are indeed gone. Praise the Creator. And bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement, to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Aw, oh, we're still going? Can't you just get in the fucking rocket? Ah. Well, at least all these ghouls are clearing out. I can go uh, clean up all that, that nasty, nasty rat away for you guys, right? You guys don't need any of this shit. There we go. Oh, there's one more. Fell off the shelf. Waste not, want not. Alright then. Yeah, are you going with them or what? Holy fire will carry us to our salvation. Oh yeah. I guess you need a, a gentle reminder. You going? You not going? Oh yeah, I'm going. I'm on the way, guys. Alright. Old, old Nick's gonna come with ya. Hey. You run pretty fast for a dead girl. Wait, where, where you going? Everybody's going to the basement! 
Uncle Touchy's puzzle basement. <laughs> I just start talking like that. That could be a good time. Lots of people out west they they tend to talk like that, but I don't understand. It's been so long since anybody's actually had a use for any of these types of accents. But still they persist, you know? Mostly within your family. But mine is mostly from people that I've hung out with. Yes, indeed. Oh, here's the, the jail. That's not where I want to be. I should have I should have ran a little faster. Should have followed a little harder. That's alright. I suppose I shall get there soon enough, right? Ah, uh, this way. Yeah, that's the one. Good old antler. He's like, alright, see you later, everybody. You sure will. Uh, which way did I go now? Uh, right out here. And see if I had not explored this before, then I'd be completely lost again. The creator has led us to success. Ain't that right? Nobody's here to answer me. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking talking myself for. Alright then. Well enough. Hello there. Daddy's home. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want right. you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Well, thank you so much. So, uh, these rockets are going to work for the Great Journey, or are you just kind of flying by the seat of your pants? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Well, I think that these rockets would convey you and the flock straight into the ground, but you, you, you can have your own opinion, I suppose. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Can we talk about Chris real quick? After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. So, you're just gonna leave him behind after he set all this shit up for you? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, I guess that's none of my business. Uh, you got done what you needed to get done, and that's all that really counts, right? Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Probably not. I mean... What would ease his sadness is to let him on the fucking rocket and then he'll die and probably some realization will kick in in the last few minutes of his life. But at least he will have made the decision for himself instead of you making it for him. Regardless, uh, I guess I'll see about getting those parts and we'll, we'll see what we can do there here. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Yeah. Sure enough. 
Hey, Chris, speak of the devil. How you doing, Jason buddy? Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So, the Great Journey's gonna use the rockets, right? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Phew. Well, uh, how can I help you? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Alright, well where would I go about finding the igniting agent? Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. So, where could I find it? Is what I asked you. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. To the east, right? Alright then, time for me to go get Later. that shit. Poor stupid fuck. Doesn't even realize he's gonna get left here, you know? Uh, these ghouls, they're, they're smart, you know? Maybe a little bit too smart for their own good, as it's turning out. Hey, just like a little, a little hatch over here. I could use that as a shortcut. If I could remember the way. Interesting. Well, uh, there was some industrial ruins, he said, to the east. So let's uh, see what we might do about that. Atomic fuel. Yeah, all right. Never eat shredded wheat. There we go. This is quite a journey, but this is one way that I can go about increasing my name. You know, if they want to declare me a redeemer, a patron saint, I won't tell them that they're wrong, you know what I'm saying? I've been through some shit in my past, but uh, yeah, maybe this is helping a little bit with my redemption. Ah, uh, who knows? It's nice to think of it, think of it that way. Either way, it's, it, it's a start, you know what I'm saying? You can't just run around and be like, I want to make a name for myself in the world, and then sit around and play with your butthole, you know? And expect it to just happen. You gotta put in the legwork. So that's exactly what Nick's gonna do. We're gonna get this fucking igniting agent. I'm gonna get some thrust control modules. I'm gonna shove them in a rocket. And then I'm gonna shove some ghouls in the rocket. I'm gonna shove the rocket into space. Yeah. That's the plan. That's a good plan too. Alright. Another gate down here. I hope it's not rusted shut. And it is. Of course it is. Why fucking wouldn't it be? Ah, boy. Mistakes were made. As per usual. How about down here? Yeah. Ah. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Ah, what a night. What a night to have a curse, right? Anybody? Jason Bright? Are you out there? He doesn't even know what I'm talking about. He's just like, all I know is I'm going to space. I just want to go to space. I don't even care. Alright, then we'll send you there. We will send you there because the creator wants you to go. And because uh, old Nick wants you to go. I mean, I spent so much fucking time cleansing the demons. Might as well just knock this shit out. Am I right? Show you right. 
Ah, little town over here. Oh, that's Novak. Yeah, yeah. I recognize the dinosaur. Hmm. Industrial ruins to the east. I mean, I passed by this way before. What am I supposed to be uh, looking for out here? Just a drum? I'm gonna know what the fucking drum looks like when I see it? I guess so. Maybe we get a little better vantage point on it up here. I should have brought up a sleeping bag. Something like that. Ah, oh, yes. The industrial plant over here. The fucking killing fields. The death claw killing fields. How could I forget? Seems like they got some, uh, some little bugs running around. Good boy. Just gotta be careful. If they spot me, it's gonna mean trouble. Not more trouble than I can handle, mind you, but, uh... It's not gonna be a fun time. Alright. What you got? Look at this little spaceman. What you doing? There's the igniting agent. Hell yes. In Mr. Radical's journal. Journal. Let's uh, let's have a look at this before we run on over back there. Hmm. Mr. Radical. Love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rads. I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical. Get it? Ha. <laughs> Suit pass, first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountain. Didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down the tunnel. Rad level high even where I was and I didn't feel a tickle. Go, Rad suit, go! Vomited all morning. Didn't splash it on the suit or I'd be pissed. Must be something I ate. Exciting! Ran across an old woman's scrapyard. Bought glowing container for a measly 50 caps. Heading for Clark Field to prove suit at higher Rad levels. If this holds up, I'm gonna pop open this jar of goop and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh, yeah! And so it was. So it was indeed. Sad when that happens, Mr. Radical. I feel bad for him. It's like, oh, my, my tummy hurts. It feels like my insides are all twisted up. Well, you, sh you should have thought a little deeper about that. No? Yes? Whatever. Your loss is my gain, I guess. And there's the, uh, the hatch. We are back in a flash. Hello there! Looking for Mr. Bright. Paging Mr. Bright. What's Have up, Chrissy? Have the components we discussed? Yeah, I got some igniting agent right here. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. I gotta go get those two? What the fuck? I thought you was gonna do that part. Alright, asshole. Wh where can I find these fucking Scavengers things? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Alright then. Later. Junk dealers. Who do I know that's a junk dealer? So fuck the people in Novak. They got plenty of stuff. Hey, you wanna buy some crap? You wanna buy some fucking dinosaur whatnots? Probably is the dino bite that I need to get back to, right? Well, I suppose we could. But I've been up all night and I need a little rest. So I'm gonna pop a squat here on this rock. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Ah, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'll see you then, friends. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.